It looks a little hazy though, yeah. kind of a sign of just how sticky it feels after we got rain last night. Yeah, and our dew points, because all that moisture that's in the atmosphere, it's kind of giving us that haze. Our dew points are already in the low 70s, and I wouldn't be surprised if by this afternoon we're in the mid 70s. So oppressive out there. It's going to be great. I know. I love to bring that good news. Let's take a look at what's happening on outside because we do have just a couple of showers trying to develop near the Tennessee border, making their way closer to Asheville. Those might try to pop up over the next couple of hours, but overall, I expect to see them just kind of hit or miss until we get to the afternoon. And that's where we have a better opportunities at seeing some shower and thunderstorm activity. And it's all thanks to this guy. It's kind of stalled out to the north of us on our South Park cam. We're sitting at 72 degrees right now. Calm winds. Temperatures are headed into the 90s this afternoon. We're going to be hot. We're going to be humid. Our heat index values will be in the lower 100s, so we have a heat advisory once again, as well as an excessive heat warning for Lancaster as well as Chesterfield County, because in our South Carolina counties, we could see heat index values from 105 to 108. Notice over the next 48 hours, a couple of showers, thunderstorms coming through at times. Most of the activity is going to come during the afternoon and evening hours, so if you're going to need those wipers on, on afternoon and it really kicks in this evening. I actually think the best opportunity for that thunderstorm activity from three to about eight or nine, but more likely probably about six, seven, eight o'clock is when they're going to have that really good opportunity at shower and thunderstorm activity. Notice though, we do have a slight risk for severe weather today. It goes back to a marginal risk for tomorrow and we expect to see over the next couple of days anywhere from maybe a half an inch up to an inch and a half or two inches of rain if you can get under some of those locally heavy amounts as this system continues to roll through. Notice though, rainfall chances go up for your Friday, Saturday. Those are going to be our two most active days. And then we start to improve as we head into Sunday, where we see this pattern kind of shift just a bit, which will then also give us dry conditions as we head into Monday and Tuesday. Temperatures are going to be back in the 80s though by Sunday. The humidity levels are going to be dropping later Sunday, setting us up for a great day on Monday with lots of sunshine. Dry conditions, high temperature, 86 degrees.